Some public schools have superb English programs that let students practice their skills with native speakers. But not all schools have the resources needed to offer immersion-based learning. The Taipei city government has created a set of high-tech learning materials that's being launched at 210 schools. There's an augmented reality app and virtual reality headsets, which take kids to a world where it's easy to practice English. Our reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. It's nice to meet you. These students sit in a circle and work together to answer the questions on the phone. With just a phone or iPad, students can use this app to visit places like Bo Pilao Historic Block to learn about its history. It is very convenient because I can stay at home and learn English. I think it's funny and I like to use this app to study English and learn the English and I can learn more sentence. I think use this app like play video game is more interesting. Introduce myself. Hi. To help students learn English, the Taipei City government has introduced an AR app at 210 elementary and junior high schools. The app was developed by a local online learning platform with funding from the Taipei City government. Some students tested out the app this winter break. The app lets students explore their real-life environment. They can click on landmarks to pull up mini English lessons with relevant vocabulary and listening comprehension exercises. The app also has a speech recognition system that allows students to practice speaking skills. Of course, the engagement students enjoy the experience and are more likely to remember. And it's easy to promote their interest to uh, learn something through VR or AR. We have the uh, one system uh, that's uh, uh, called Bo uh, Liao, and they have the uh, students can use the iPad to learn something, learn the vocabulary and the sentences uh, through uh, those uh, games. So that's the most interesting part. And they not only reading books, they can learn something through the practical English. Taiwan has embarked on the ambitious mission to become a bilingual nation by 2030. Some Taipei schools already have a strong foundation for bilingual education. This school, for example, is one of the few that's equipped with an English village. The village has a train station, a shopping center, and more. Students and teachers role play scenarios in these villages while speaking English. Over the past few years, the administrative districts have combined situational learning with regular teaching to allow students to not only learn English in classrooms, but also in their everyday lives. There are 12 schools and 12 districts in Taipei that have an English village. When teachers are planning their courses, we hope to connect the local culture with international culture. We created places like Wanhua train station, markets, hotels and restaurants. Now you can buy a train ticket. Yeah. English villages like this can help students practice their language skills in real life setting. To bring that experience to more schools, Taipei City has turned to VR technology. It sponsored a VR program that transports students to an English speaking hotel and a restaurant. I can prepare them for the future, not only in English, but uh, also become a better learner for all subjects. And the technology is one other tool that they can use. It's not only for their learning, but also for their future job. The Taipei City government plans to provide six VR sets to each of 210 elementary and junior high schools. At the moment, 132 schools already have their headsets. With the rise of AR and VR, schools in Taiwan hope these immersive technologies can inspire more students to get excited about English. For most News, Stephanie Yang, Wu Jinde in Taipei.